say probably won't be a shock to most of you, but I'm a really big fan of movies. I'm what you might call a film geek, as they say, or a movie nerd. I've, I've watched movies all my life. Even one of my earliest memories, or at least I think it's a memory. It's so long ago that it's, it's, it's starting to feel like a, like a memory of a memory, like a, like a whisper of a memory. Is leaving the theater after having just seen The Lion King. I can't actually remember watching the movie for the first time because I saw it so many times during my childhood, but I do remember leaving the theater for some reason. It must have been early 1995 because I was, I was too young when it first premiered in Sweden in late 1994. And it was probably a couple of years later that I had my first real obsession with movies. Now, it's sometime 1997. I am seven years old. At this time, I am aware of Batman. Uh, I'd seen some episodes of the animated series, but my neighbor, Rasmus, uh, my neighbor across the street, uh, was an absolute fanatic. He had all the toys, he had the animated series trading cards, I guess they were technically the Adventures of Batman and Robin trading cards, but same thing. And he had the uh, promotional material uh, uh, Batman and Robin sticker album. Uh, we, we talked about nothing but, but, but Batman all the time. We were making up ideas for our own shows, our own uh, Batman and Robin suits. For some reason, he kept insisting that the Robin suit was always the more cool one, and that's why I should wear it. I think he just wanted to be Batman. You know, I think I think that's it, because nobody wants to be Robin. Anyway, for some reason though, the only thing we didn't do was watch any of the Batman movies. It wasn't actually until my dad rented Batman Forever uh, later that year that I actually saw my first Batman movie. And I was hooked. I wanted to see more Batman. And the next one I saw was Batman Mask of the Phantasm, uh, which I found when me and my parents were at this like permanent flea market in some cellar somewhere. And later that same year, I saw the 1989 Batman after my dad recorded it off the TV. Yes, my dad is an old school pirate. And since then, I have been a Batman fan, an absolute fan. It wasn't actually until a year or so later that I actually got to see Batman and Robin. And while I still liked it, please, please, I was like eight or nine, give me a break. I am glad that it wasn't my first exposure to Batman. God knows what I would have thought of Batman if I, if I did, you know. Now, why the hell am I talking about Batman and my childhood so much? Well, I was sitting down. Uh, a few days ago thinking about what to do for Halloween this year. You know, you have to do the the mandatory Halloween horror themed videos. It's just it's just it's just law here on YouTube. And I wanted to do something more personal than what I had done before, and that's when I had the epiphany. All the movies that had shaped my taste in film, that had made me into the recluse critical asshole that I am today, were all horror movies that I saw very early in my life. So, this year, I'm going to talk about four horror movies. Four of my favorite horror movies, and honestly, four of my favorite movies of all time. And the first one will be my earliest horror movie experience, and maybe the most influential of them. It's Ridley Scott's Alien and we'll talk about it tomorrow. So make sure to like this video, hit the little bell thing, so you're always updated when we release the new video. Um, and tell me in the comments uh, what movies, what horror movies, kind of, kind of, was a part of your childhood, what shaped your childhood. But until then, have a good one.